Hello, hello, hello. It is Kara here. We're alive. Okay, so let's turn that off. For those of you who are joining me, it is Carrie here with eatingonadime.com. I haven't actually been live in a couple days. Um, if you follow me on the Instagram, you might have saw my stories that I had some cabinets painted. As you can see back behind me, my hood is now white. It used to be black. My island is now white. It used to be black. You can't see that in this video, but I'll post um, some more on stories. For those of you who do follow me on stories, I'll post some more, what's it called, um, photos on there for you guys to see when we're done. Let's see if this is set up. Okay, who is on here? I am, I'm getting it set up, guys, on Facebook. If you want the link to the recipe that I'm making today, um, you just say, hey, send me that, and I'll Facebook message you that link. Okay, so I am just blah. Okay, if you sent me a message, Angela, on Facebook, there is no way I'll see it. Since I have 2.5 million fans, I get way too many messages and I can't keep up with them. So the best way is to contact me on the website. Um, you'll send me an email. That's the best way. Okay, so... Okay, so hey, Tammy and Lewis and Nicole and Barbara and Diane and Shauna and Alberta and Rebecca for on Facebook. And hello, Instagram. So let me know below what's for dinner tonight. Here in Oklahoma City, it is cold. Yesterday was gorgeous. We had kids playing in the front yard in shorts, literally in shorts. And that's probably why I feel under the weather do you guys get like that where um you just feel under the weather when the weather changes drastically like i just woke up and it's raining what it's rainy okay so it's rainy it's cold hence my cozy clothes today and in fact i am so ready for pj pants <laughs> because it is dreary my backyard is starting to get flooded because it's so rainy. Like, for real, guys. Okay, the white is so beautiful. You love it. I'm so glad you guys like it. Make sure you're following me on Instagram because I'll add more if you on the stories for you to look at it. Um, but I really, really like it. It kind of brightens up the kitchen a little bit, but I still get my traditional dark wood that I love. Um, but it kind of brightens the whole place up which matches my bright and cheerful personality no i'm just kidding <laughs> but okay so today let's talk about what we're making today on this cold dreary oklahoma day we are making instant pot cheeseburger soup i actually made this on a live um a couple weeks ago it is one of my favorite soup recipes because every people who are saying you love my sweater it's on amazon and the husband got it for me for my birthday so I can put a link to that in our um, Eating on a Dime Recipes Facebook group for those of you who want it, okay? Uh-oh, Angela's on her way to the hospital to have her baby boy. Woohoo! Okay, so we're making soup. This is what I want. I'm totally eating based on my feelings because it's raining outside. Today's supposed to be Taco Tuesday, and the original plan was to have pork tacos that are in the freezer, but mama's gonna do that another night because she's really craving soup. Okay, so we're making instant pot cheeseburger soup. Right above the video, right below the video, you'll have two recipes. I'm giving you the crock pot and the instant pot, and if you're following me on um, Instagram, I'll put those in stories, both of the swipe ups. So you can make this in the instant pot or the crock pot. It's so easy and oh so good. So the very, let's get started, okay? Remember, you can go and print it out just like I have and do exactly what I'm doing here on the live. Super, super easy. Hey, Anne from California. Uh-oh. Mary is making the copycat Panera bread cheese soup, mm, broccoli and cheese soup. Yummy. Okay, so the first thing I'm just doing is dicing up some carrots. You, It says on there like shredded carrots, but I didn't have any, so I'm just using what I have on hand. We're just going to give this a quick dice with my 
lovely knives that I love. These are also on Amazon if you want those links. I can give those to you too. Just let me know below. And I will add them on stories on Instagram. And I will add the link in the Eating on a Dime Recipes Facebook group. Okay. Okay. So the meat, I'm kind of doubling this recipe. The reason I'm doubling it is because my family is larger and it's a really good recipe that the kids love. It Ooh. tastes amazing leftover. Think of this. It's like, think of a cheeseburger and potato soup, got married, had a baby. This is, this is dinner. Okay. It's so good. It's comfort food at its finest. Now, remember, this is so easy. You could just do shredded carrots. It'll save you some time. So we're going to put this. Anyway, so what I was saying is I have ground beef that's still just a little warm. I don't know if you guys have seen these on Amazon, but these are so cool for the Instant Pot. So I was browning the beef. For those of you, when if you saw the steam, I had put a little bit of water in there because it was still just a smidgen frozen. And that's kind of my trick is you put the lid on and you let it steam and brown at the same time so that way it cooks faster. So I'm going to throw in my diced up carrots. I'm going to chop up a half an onion. Normally I do this before we go live, but I did it today, so I might cry because it wasn't in the fridge. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Stephanie is having chili. You painted above your stove white. Yes. So for those of you who just joined, my kitchen looks a little different. If you didn't know, I had three things in my kitchen painted. It was black and I'm trying, I have been doing a little bit of remodeling, just kind of updating, nothing major. Well, I did do one thing major, my laundry room and I got rid of like a wet bar a long time ago before summer. Um, but anyway, I just, Wanted it to kind of go with the rest of the home, which is brightening it up. And I love it. It's so bright in here. Okay, so I'm just chopping up an, half an onion real quick. This is a pretty big onion. You know what's so funny is I go live and I do all these cooking shows with you guys. And I am the worst onion chopper. Like, they're not pretty. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Okay. So we're going to throw this onion in here and you want the onion. If your kids are weird about onions, you could use a mini food chopper to pulverize them and they won't even know they're in there, but it brings so much flavor to the soup. Okay. So now that's going in. We're going to throw in some Italian seasoning. The best part about painting my kitchen was definitely having to clean everything out of my island. So I could add, now, like if you were watching, I had, if you saw my freezer Friday, I had about 50 million knives. <laughs> no exaggeration. Okay, a slight exaggeration, but I had a lot of knives and now I can actually see my knives. It's wonderful. And I just kept the ones that I actually used. So I threw in some salt. I'm gonna throw in some pepper. I need to fill this back up. Just throw all that in there. All this recipe is so easy to throw together. Super simple, super easy. If you don't have an Instant Pot, guys, um, I'm also giving you the Crock Pot link as well. And if you're on Eating on a Dime's Facebook page, just say, hey, send it to me, and I will Facebook message you a link to both of these recipes. Okay, so now we're going to throw in cream of mushroom soup. Remember, I'm doubling this, so I'm throwing in two. So remember, if a creamy potato soup and a cheeseburger gets married and has a baby, and this is what you get. It's so good. Then, normally I would throw in beef broth, but all I had was chicken broth. So I'm just going to use chicken broth. I want to use some kind of a broth. And a little tip, I like to pour the broth in the can to kind of help get some of the goodies out of your cans as well. If you don't like cream of mushroom soup, you could totally do cream of chicken soup, 
cream of celery. If you have a gluten intolerance, you, I have a recipe on eating on a dime where you can actually make your own. Frank asked me a great question. Do I prefer Instant Pot or Crock Pot? I'm going to tell you the truth. It depends on what the day is and what I'm making. So, for example, today I had an early appointment in the morning. So throwing something in the crock pot was not going to happen for me. Um, too busy in the morning. But right now I can throw something in the Instant Pot and it's going to be ready in less than an hour from frozen. So today I like my Instant Pot. <laughs> but on a day where the afternoon is really busy, but my mornings aren't, the crock pot is my friend. So it just kind of depends on what day and um, what I'm making. For example, roast. I do not like a roast in the Instant Pot. It's okay and it's good. I just prefer it in the crock pot. I think it's more tender. I think it falls apart better. And so I personally like the crock pot roast better. Okay, so. And then the last thing you throw in, let me make sure I didn't miss anything. The last thing you're gonna throw in is potatoes. I am not actually using potatoes. I'm cheating today and using some hash brown potatoes. These are the little diced ones, okay? So I'm gonna throw some of those in there. Actually, I'm just gonna throw them all in there. This is a great time-saving tip is to use, hold on, is to use hash browns instead of potatoes when you're in a pitch. I'm just gonna give this a quick mix and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Let's see, I didn't have to peel or dice potatoes or anything. You do you, okay? So, soup is done, I'm gonna put the lid on. It says we're gonna do high pressure for five minutes. <coughs> Excuse me. Pressure cup, five minutes, make sure it's set to ceiling. While this is cooking, I'll just tidy up my island and then dinner is done. That's how easy it is. You need to get one of those food choppers from Amazon. I love mine. Judy, which one did you get? This is the one that I have. I cleaned it out in here so I can actually see stuff. This is the one I got from the Walmart many, many years ago, but it has one part that's broken. I can't remember where. But anyway, it kind of leaked. Oh, right here. There it is. This part is broken, so sometimes the stuff will leak out the top, and I just haven't replaced it. So I'm curious which one you got. Oh, you put the link on there. I'll go look at that, Judy. What kind of Instant Pot do I have? I just have the brand Instant Pot. This is an eight quart, but a six quart will work as well. And if you don't have an Instant Pot, it's not a problem. You can make this in the crock pot as well. So what I do is right before we serve it, I mix in a block of cream cheese to make it cheesy and because it's a cheeseburger soup. And then we top it with cheddar cheese. But then you can add whatever you want. You can add diced tomatoes on top. You can add onions on top. I like to throw in some cooked bacon on top. What would you cook? Mine is a manual. Oh, I don't know if I want manual. I like them automatic. So, yes, we're going to mix in cheese, um, cream cheese, and then top it with cheddar cheese to give it that cheesy flavor of a cheeseburger. But bacon would be so good. You could do fried onions if you want to be super bougie. Thank you so much for sharing, Marcia. Okay, that's it. That's so simple and super easy. I hope I inspired you even on a cold, dreary day. You can throw dinner, super delicious dinner, in your Instant Pot in just a few minutes. So um, remember, the links is right if you're missing the cream cheese don't go and get it you, it'll be good without it if you have the cheddar cheese you'll be fine are you going to post a picture of it after it's done no because if you emily if you just click on the link you'll see what it looks like when it's done and it's so good friends do i have the recipe the recipe is ooh, judy avocados the recipe guys i'll give you the crock pot and the instant pot is right below the video and if you're on instagram it will be there on stories as soon as we're done okay you guys have a great day i will see you tomorrow on eating on time bye friends